At the beginning of the pandemic, a new experiment launched here in South Florida that brought joy and peace to millions around the world who were locked down in their homes. Right, it's an underwater webcam in a coral reef off Port Miami that scientists now believe may hold the key to saving dying reefs, not just here in Florida, but around the world. And here's Local 10 environmental advocate Louis Aguirre with tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure. But Miami is the magic city. You know, the magic is, is everywhere. And to be able to live in a city that has megafauna swimming around it, to me, is, is really special. An undersea symphony of life brought to a worldwide audience 24-7, 365 days a year through the lens of the Coral City webcam. We're in the Vice City. I mean, it's, you, you can't get more Miami than this. This hybrid art science research project, the brainchild of Colin Ford and his partner at Coral Morphologic. Back in February of 2020, the team strategically placed an underwater live stream camera at a coral reef along the shoreline at the east end of Port Miami that the world would soon discover was teeming with life. We've seen over 185 species of fish, and we see manatees almost every single day, lemon sharks every day. We're seeing, you know, we see seabirds, we've seen loons, we've seen sea turtles, we've seen you know, octopus, squid. Playful dolphins, at least a dozen different species of sharks and rays, and 22 different species of corals and counting. Five different species of brain corals. We've got now elkhorn and staghorn coral. Pretty much just about all the species that you'd find offshore have been able to uh, pioneer here. Pretty remarkable given all the environmental challenges corals are facing globally. Florida's reef tract is the third largest reef system in the world. Rapidly disappearing though because of climate change and disease. Sadly, it is also one of the most unhealthy uh, integrated coral reef ecosystems in, in the world. In fact, as little as 2% of Florida's original coral cover remains, and yet the corals living here at Port Miami are flourishing. And it's the resiliency of these urban corals that's now driving Ford's research with University of Miami and NOAA scientists. To try and understand how these corals are able to survive so close to the city with all of the anthropogenic sources of pollution, the extremes in temperature, and yet the corals here seem to be thriving even better than they are offshore in the national park. Super corals reproducing and growing in an urban environment that's become a coral sanctuary. As a matter of fact, when one of the 100-year-old seawalls of Star Island came crumbling down a few weeks ago, NOAA scientists rescued all the living corals there, some of the oldest in Miami, and brought them here to the Coral Cam Reef. So just yesterday, 15 colonies of coral from the Star Island seawall collapse were, were transplanted here. And the very next day. And we're gonna go down and check them out. Ford and I went to check out how these coral refugees have settled into their new digs. So far, they're looking great. You know, the first several days after transplantation are kind of the most critical because, you know, you're dealing with a, a coral that's having to adapt and acclimate. It is a really good sign these corals will survive. Some of the residents have also come by to say hello. RJ, the parrotfish, Lisa, the lemon shark, and Hunter, the porcupine pufferfish, all identifiable by markings and unique traits. They actually do live here. It's, it is like a city. A living laboratory for Ford, who hopes these corals could be the ones that will seed the reefs offshore and hold promise for corals around the world. And if you want to understand how corals are going to be adapting globally in the future, you come and you look at Miami today. And people are watching the Coral City webcam from all over the world, an average of 45 minutes at a time. The diehards are called Coral Heads, and the Coral Cam's YouTube channel logs about 2 million minutes of watching every month. It's free on YouTube, and by watching, you can really begin to learn a lot about our local ecology and the health of Biscayne Bay. For more info on the Coral City camera and the YouTube link and the Instagram handle, we have it all for you. Just click on that QR code right there on your screen. It'll take you straight to the Don't Trash Our Treasure section on Local10.com. In the newsroom, I'm Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News. Um, jealous of Louis' assignment. Look, I'm just getting the QR code because <laughs> yes. I'm here for this. First of all, I had no idea. Right. Second of all, such vivid Gorgeous imagery pictures. there. The, I want to know what the manatee's name was. <laughs> I love well, manatees. That, you're great at nicknames, so we'll leave that up to we'll you. We'll find one. Yes. We'll find one. <laughs>